Hey folks, this is Iowa Thurm. and we're back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Alex the Assassin in his IS-2. This is a Tier 7 game on Paris, the new Paris. Wait, no, it's just Paris. <laughs> there isn't really a new Paris. That's definitely not the newest map. Um, so if you don't know how to kill an IS-2 by now, um, it's really quite simple. Pretty much shoot them anywhere but the front of the turret, and you're probably going to go in. Uh, this thing does not have the best armor in the world. The only thing to note is if he's side scraping, and all you can see is like, um, you know, this part of the tank. Uh, try and hit the front uh, right under the turret if you can. Uh, don't bother shooting at everything back here, no matter. Um, if he if he's like this, that that's still not worth it shooting at. Um, so that, that is o the only things to note about how to kill an IS-2. Um, and yeah, other than that, I've, uh, I've made a new decision slash come to a realization. I've been talking about the, the patrons being my heroes for so long because these guys are just awesome. And without them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And so I've decided that from now on, all the Patreons are heroes, and uh, that's how the new tier system is set up in Patreon. You can you have your origin story, which is the the first tier in the game, or first tier in um, Patreon. So that's that, that's a buck. And then uh, when you're fabled, you're you're talked about, but you know still kind of in the mid tiers of being a hero. Um, you know that that's three bucks, and then epic tier is five bucks, and that gets you most of everything that anyone can ever want on Patreon. And then the really legendary guys, the living legends, those are the ones. Uh, that's twenty bucks, and uh, I don't expect anybody to ever do that, but the the few who do are amazing, and I couldn't do this without them. So I feel it's appropriate to tell them that. So I've redesigned the whole Patreon system uh, according to that, and uh, hopefully this is more uh, conducive and meshes better with the rest of, of the, the thing, because I keep calling you guys heroes who are my Patreons, so I might as well actually label you guys as heroes too, right? Um, and so, I'm gonna... also, that poor M4, <laughs> two more damage, and he wouldn't be here anymore. Yeah. Um. Also, um, anybody who's looked at the front page of my YouTube channel in the past, uh, like couple of days, what do you think? New banner up there. I want all everybody's opinion on it. I want to know what you guys think about. It, if you like it, if you don't, uh, changes you you'd like to see to it. All that stuff. Oh, bouncing the side of a T twenty nine hurts. That it just causes me pain. Um, that is just unfortunate. Oh, and then he clips, <laughs> and then he more or less just yeah, you know, cut fires at and, and takes him out for the kill. Yeah, okay. That's uh, that's definitely one way you can do that. Um, looking over here, he's looking to get a shot on the. Well, he's going to take the shot on the, the Churchill, but unfortunately, it bounces because. I'm not quite certain where we would have hit on the Churchill. The 175 would not have gone in. Maybe he just low rolled his pen on the, the... Oh, yeah, look at that. We hit it square in the front and must have low rolled the pen. That sucks. <laughs> uh, uh, our counterpart in the IS is pushing up that ridge line. And Alex is just going to ignore him, kill the Churchill... And now focus on the IS. He knew the IS couldn't shoot him, so he just disregarded him and focused on down the IS he could kill. And now he's worrying about the IS, especially since they they've got other problems. Ooh, taking out the poor <laughs> M4 that he shot earlier. And this VK is apparently um, getting stuck on the wall. Um, and then I guess he assumed he'd be okay. Unfortunately for him, 
the IS's gun is big enough that he was not okay. I notice I'm using the dead tank as cover from behind. Uh, and he's actually bumping it back far enough that he can see this T28 THC and or HTC, sorry, and does get the shell into it. He's hoping that he can. Um, so he he's pretty much been playing under the assumption that nobody's going to poke around this corner while he's here, and he's really done well with that. Um, the enemy IS, I don't know what he's paying attention to. But he should be looking this way and isn't doing so until right now. Uh, comes around the corner and actually lands a shell on us. And now you can see... So as long as he doesn't shoot him in the gun mantle. Or the gun. He'll be fine. Uh, but that's exactly where that shell went. is Right through into the gun mantle. Which is why it bounced. So he's got to back up just before he fires. Or aim a bit high. See, so second shell went... Yeah. He did put the shell right there. So that's fine. Up here is bad. Down here is fine. Or into the side of the turret like that shell went. Well done. Um, and by the way, while that IS was attacking us, because of the fact that he was right in front of us, he was actually blocking his friends from killing us too. So there's that. Oh, and that is game done. Well done, sir. That was a nice quick one. Um, I just... You know, enemy makes so many mistakes in this game that you, you end up capitalizing them on, on them, whether you realize that or not. And just now, when he had his back to that Churchill and he was aiming backwards over it, no one came around this corner and shot him. They definitely could have. Easily. And he probably would have died had they done that. But they didn't. So, you know, we win. Okay, let's jump over and see what his battle results were. So he does have the mastery first class for this hand of God, shell proof, duelist, fire for effect, or fighter, and fire for effect. Unfortunately, no epics. <gasps> well, I guess he was one shy. Um, I can't think of who he was shooting at that he could have got that off of. I don't. I think he was pretty much destined to be one shy at the Top Gun, uh, even if he killed that M4 at the start with a single round. I still don't think he would have ended up in any kind of situation or, uh, where he could have ended up with that top gun. There just wasn't the targets in front of him that were low enough health at the time that they were in front of him. You, you know what I mean? Um, and so, well done. Uh, definitely without him, this team would have struggled. They probably still would have pulled it out considering how stupid the enemy team was being. Um, but you never know, right? <laughs> you want to be safe, and you just want to shoot the enemy team and get your experience and leave, right? Especially if it's just a tank you're grinding through, not a tank you love. Which I assume is what's happening here. Um, though it may, maybe it is a tank he loves. Alex can tell us in the description below, or in the comments below, whether he loves his tank or just is just grinding his way through. Well done, though. Made a little bit of cash and 5,000 experiences, nothing to uh, shake your fist at. So thank you very much, Alex, for saying this in, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time this IOE throughout. <laughs>